Hey, what's up and welcome to Hack My Growth. In this episode, we're going to be looking at choosing the right local business schema type. Are you looking to grow your business but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe been watching a while and you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. We create new content each and every week to help you get the most out of your digital marketing opportunities. So as I said in the opener, we're gonna be talking about the local business schema type. And specifically, I'm talking about the actual type here. So when you're writing um, schema or structured data for your website, and you're building out the local business area, there's a number of different types that you can select. Instead of just selecting the top one, which is local business, you can actually get much more granular, which actually allows you to add in a lot more targeted and specific information into your structured data. So why is this important? Well, as we've talked about quite a bit on this channel, structured data helps the search engines better understand your site's content as well as its context. So you've got schema.org forward slash local business, and this gives you uh, ways to add more information to the search engines about your business. Now this can help with ranking as well as making your listing stand out more. And choosing the right type is extremely important. If we look at this uh, mobile screenshot here, you can see that you know it's pulling Google My Business, but it's also pulling in a lot more information from structured data, things like the menu, finding a table, hours of operation, uh, this can all be added in and structured using structured data. And when you have Google My Business and you tie this into your website, it actually just affirms that data, it connects it more, it helps Google really understand that your website and your local listing are connected in more than one way. So choosing a type. Now this is an example of a local business uh, Jason LD snippet. As you can see here, the type is local business. You add your address, a little description, name, your telephone number. Now this would work perfectly fine. This would render perfectly fine. Google would be able to know that you're a local business. It would have some information about who you are and what you do, probably pulling that based on your name, you know, beachside movies. Now obviously this is a fictional company because nobody goes to a movie rental store anymore, but it's still something that, you know, this would work. If we had a website that actually did this and a business that did this, it would render completely fine. But we actually want to get a little more specific. So when you go on to uh, schema.org forward slash local business, and then you do the hashtag um, subtypes, you'll see these different subtypes. Now there's 30 of them here right now, and some of them actually have more information than others. Now what's really cool about these is you can start to pull out you know different information. So for instance, if you're childcare, there's going to be parts of your, your structured data that you could mark up that's very specific to what you do. Same with real estate or a shop, a store or a shopping center. All of these are going to be much more specific to the actual business type. Now again, this is very important because it helps give you more targeted information. So where do we add this specific type? Now if we saw the original information, it had at type and then said local business. So what you would do is you just replace that to your specific subtype. So in this case, if you're a restaurant, you would have a subtype of restaurant. By looking at schema.org and by tagging schema.org, Google would know that you're now a local business and that your subtype or your more specific type is restaurant. So each one of these subtypes can actually drill down even further if they are highlighted on this list. So about half of them. So for instance, automotive business, it could go to like um, motorcycle repair shops, one of them, automotive parts store. There's, there's a lot more specific, right? Medical business, again, it goes broader, uh, goes a little bit deeper. Legal services, a little bit broad, it goes deeper in there as well. So when you're choosing this out, you want to take the time to really drill down and to make sure you're at the most specific layer possible when you're tagging up your business. Again, this is going to help you be much more contextualized, and it's also going to make sure that you're feeding in all the available right information into the search engine. So once you put this together, let's say I have a movie rental store, there's actually a subtype called movie rental store. So I would add that in. And then I wanna add in things like price range. Now this is something that's suggested. Um, it's something that I highly recommend you do because it allows Google to you know, put you on there if people are looking for cheap or expensive or fancy or whatever they're looking for. Um, this price range will really help that out. You wanna add in an image. Image markup is always really good. This can help you 
both in uh, maybe one of those knowledge graph boxes or other areas as well as image search and then always marking up your website as well so this is what it would look like what I would do is go a little bit deeper on schema.org drill down into a little bit of those categories make sure you're at the bottom layer and getting the most specific information you can to the search crawlers that way they know what your site's about and they know when to show you when somebody's making a specific query if you have any questions on this please comment below we'd love to continue the conversation with you online until next time happy marketing mm -hmm.